Phil Ockengay, University of South Dakota, wide receivers. We're going to talk about um, releases today with our footwork. Okay, so today we're going to talk about releases. Um, as you can see, there's objectives up there, but the three most important things that we always talk about are posture, patience, and physical at the line of the scrimmage. And then we also will go ahead and take our stance when we get a press release. We're going to go ahead and um, square up our stance and get our feet together a little bit more. Um, so. As we go through, just so you guys, and there's reminders on there also for you. Uh, jab release, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna gather step with our um, back foot. Um, and then we're gonna take a two inch jab with our front foot to go ahead and displace the defensive back's uh, feet. And then we're gonna release to the, uh, to the right or left side, depending on what his reaction is. So as you guys see here, we're in a right footed stance. We're gonna go ahead and gather with our left foot uh, we want to make sure that we're actually gaining some ground and then we're going to jab with our right foot and then we're going to release to the left as you can see here here is actually a live this is actually a practice clip where he gathers it's he kind of skips a little bit here but gathers gets a jab gets the db to go ahead and split his feet and then he releases to the right so we'll work a jab step then we'll go ahead and we'll go to a two-step release which is the guy is overplaying us. So we're still a gather right footed gather step, jab with our right, back with our left, and release to our right. And that's if the DB is overplaying us to the left. Um, the biggest thing is his posture and composure through this. Let the DB go ahead and move and that we're gaining ground at all times. Okay, and then we go three hard away. So if the DB will not move his feet, then we're gonna go ahead and you'll see um, we'd like our stance to be a little bit not so elongated here. We'd like him to actually have his foot here so that he's not fault stepping there. You can see the fault step there. But he's going to go three hard away, and really all we're trying to do is avoid the DB. On our third step, we're going to go ahead, and that foot should be north and south, and we should hide our numbers, and we should release. We're not even talking about any escapes. This is just footwork. I truly believe that you have to teach the feet from the bottom up before we talk. Otherwise, they start to get confused. And then the last one that we'll talk about, try to give them a bunch of different tools, is just a stutter release. And all this is, is we're just gonna go ahead and gain ground, stutter our feet, and then we're gonna allow the DB, especially if they're gonna be a passive, uh, inch out technique by the DB, as you can see here, the receiver's trying to give us a look. Um, and then we'll just release wherever they give us less pressure. I hope you enjoyed this video clinic. Please subscribe to InstaClinic so that you stay connected to this one-of-a-kind football resource.